You see, what God does is he takes a crucifixion and he turns it into a resurrection. There is no problem too big for God, folks. If he can raise Jesus from the dead, he can help you and me rise above any problem we'll ever experience in our life. Do you understand that? That's the power of the resurrection. And I'd like to illustrate that for you this morning. How many have been looking at some of the stuff that I've got up here? Wondering, what, what's he going to do today? Every Sunday I try to do something to kind of get your eyes focused on it a little bit differently to help you to see the message that God has given to us just from a little bit different perspective. And what I have with me today is a tea bag, just a simple, ordinary tea bag. And what I want to do is I want to just share with you the story about the crucifixion and the resurrection just using this tea bag. You'll never forget this illustration as long as you live. You see, on the tea bag, there's a label. Every tea bag has a label, right? You drink tea, right? How many tea drinkers we have here? So every tea bag has a label. And the Bible says that when Jesus was here on earth, he had lots of labels. You know, there were people that referred to him as Messiah. There were those who referred to him as Savior. The Bible tells us that he's the Son of Man. The Bible says he's the Son of God. The Bible says that when Jesus was crucified on the cross, they made a sign. And they put that sign above his head. Do you remember that story in the Bible? And the Bible says that on the sign, it said, Jesus is the King of the Jews. And so there was this label on the tea bag that represents the sign over the cross. And then we have a string. Every tea bag has a string. And the string reminds us of the whip that was used to scourge the back of Jesus Christ. Every string reminds us of that. And then each tea bag also has a staple. And when I pull out the staple, it's very, very small. You can't really see it. It reminds us of the nails that were used to nail Jesus to the cross, put in his hands and put in his feet. And it reminds us of the sword that was used to pierce his side, just like the holes that are on the tea bag. Those holes were in the hands and the feet of Jesus and in the side of Jesus. And why was he crucified? Why was he nailed to the cross? Why did he have all of those things happen to him? It was because of our sins. The Bible says that Jesus was crucified on the cross for our sins. The Bible says Jesus was not a sinner, but we are sinners. And that's what the tea inside the tea bag reminds us of. How that Jesus died for our sins. And the dark color of the tea reminds us of the darkness of our sins. Are you getting this, folks? And then lastly, we come to the tea bag itself. The story about Jesus did not end at the cross. Are you thankful for that? He didn't just die for our sins. Thank you, God, that he did that. But he didn't, it didn't end there. The Bible says that after he died, from, uh, died on the cross, he also rose from the dead. And you remember the story about the resurrection? The Bible says that on the resurrection day, early in the morning, just as the sun was getting ready to come up, Jesus rose from the dead. That's why we have sunrise services on Easter. Now, to illustrate the sun coming up, I brought some fire with me. And I want you to watch what happens when I light this on fire. Ah, the air conditioner. 
That's okay, I brought another tea bag. <laughs> you see, you can turn the AC off if you would, okay? Might help a little bit. Just for a minute. You know, you come and you test these things out during the week and they work fine. And then you come on Sunday morning to do it. Is the air conditioner off? Ah. So Jesus rose from the dead. And somebody's going to have ash on their head. They're going to think it's Lent. It's all right. Is our insurance paid? You see, the same power, the exact same power that enabled Jesus to rise from the dead enables you and me to rise above any problem that we experience in life. 